Jennifer Garner and Ben Affleck arrive to church separately as it's claimed she's annoyed and frustrated with him for groping accusation. She's a regular at church with her three children. And Jennifer Garner turned up at the Community United Methodist Church in the posh Pacific Palisades neighborhood of Los Angeles on Sunday. The 45-year-old was closely followed by her estranged husband, Ben Affleck, also 45, who arrived separately. The Batman star may have some praying to do following his admission that he groped former One Tree Hill star and MTV correspondent Hilary Burton during an MTV TRL appearance in 2001. But a somber Jennifer appeared to be standing by her ex on Sunday. She looked fresh as a daisy in a knee-length skirt with a colorful flower pattern teamed with a black sleeveless top and killer black high heels. Her center parted chestnut tresses flowed over her shoulders and she protected her eyes from the bright sunlight with shades. Meanwhile, Ben wore a light blue shirt, unbuttoned at the neck, grey pants and black shoes. The couple, who share Violet, 11, Serafina, 8, and Samuel, 5, split in 2015 after 10 years of marriage and filed for divorce in April. A source told E. News on Thursday that Jennifer is very in the with Ben because it just means more attention on her and the kids. She tries to shield them from any and all publicity and scrutiny. As far as they know nothing has changed and all is well. That is always her goal but she's been pretty frustrated with him. Hillary made her allegations on Tuesday night, just hours after Ben took to Twitter to condemn Harvey Weinstein for his alleged sexual assault and harassment scandal. In it, Ben said he was saddened and angry over the sickening claims. His statement was slammed by a number of people on Wednesday, including Weinstein's accuser actress Rose McGowan who called Ben a liar. The same day makeup artist Anna Marie Tendler took to Twitter to claim that Ben grabbed her asterisk asterisk at a Golden Globes party in 2014 and demanded an apology. Ben was quick to reply, tweeting, I acted inappropriately toward Ms. Burton and I sincerely apologize. 